I'm Bill Simons, I'm the Northwest Area Safety Manager, and we're here at the Clackamas River near Estacada to talk about cableway safety, in particular cableway pre-use inspection, uh, how to o safely operate a cableway, and also fall protection requirements whenever you're climbing on a cableway or an A-frame. So one of the first things that you want to look at is the anchoring system. Here we are at the uh, left bank anchor and this this anchor is a T anchor. It's a T-shaped piece of concrete. It goes back from here back and then it tees off so it's both uh, uh, kind of a mass anchor and then also it's held in by the, the dirt around it. So for the pre-use inspection we want to look at the U-bars uh, to see that they all look good and uh, what the situation where they go into the concrete. There's a little bit of surface rust on them but it's not not too bad. A uh, little bit of pitting, but it's pretty good shape. Also look at the, this is a bridge socket here, and the attachment here, the nut is on it underneath. It doesn't look, the way it's up against the concrete, I don't think that'll ever come off, but uh, that's something you'd want to look at. And the backstay line is, has four cable clips on it. That is the minimum amount, and they're properly installed. This, uh, this particular U-bar is quite close to this parking lot here, so I would something that I would always look for is uh, possible damage if a car could have hit it with their bumper or something, but it doesn't look uh, damaged. We've had, we have had that at some places where cars have struck our U-bars and damaged them. Uh, looking on up at the bridge socket, the threads are, there's quite a, there's some rust on them, but it's only surface rust. It's always good to look at the cable. The uh, it's it's good and tight. The main cable is, and the backstay line, which should be have a little bit of slack in it, but not shouldn't be drooping too much. If it's uh, either too tight or too loose, it might indicate that the A-frame has either moved uh, back or forth at the top there, and it could be suggest some other problem. But this looks fine. The second thing we want to look at is the A-frame. Okay, we're at the A-frame on the left bank, and we'll do the pre-use inspection here. Uh, one of the main things to look, look at is the pier blocks that the A-frame is sitting on. These are concrete. The, uh, should be going into the ground at least three feet, probably more. And uh, they, you'd want to look for any evidence of movement, if, like if they were to be tipping at all. The A-frame footer itself has the bolt coming up and it's got the nut on it that'll prevent the A-frame, this footer, from lifting up ever. Uh, you want to make sure that those are on there. And no rust down here. This is a nice galvanized, it's a pipe A-frame. And it's galvanized. It has a small weep hole down here for draining moisture. The other thing you should always look for when uh, you're looking at an A-frame is the that these should be uh, level it shouldn't be tilted forward or tilted back uh, they're put in level at the time of construction and hopefully nothing pulls them back or forward
Okay, we're at the top of the A-frame, and we will continue with the uh, pre-use inspection, looking at some of the components near the on the platform and top of the A-frame. Looking at the backstay line, I see it's got four cable clips properly installed, and they appear tight. The uh, head block is an old wood head block. It's going to be need to be replaced sometime, but it looks okay looks okay yet. Additionally, as the railing, it's a good thing to just kind of physically check the railing. This is very solid, uh, as well as the other one, just to make sure that, yep, so if we do have to lean up against it, it's going to hold us. So the A-frame looks good. Uh, the last one, the main things to do is look down the cableway for any debris on it. Uh, could be some branches hanging on it or a tree fell on it or something. Also pay attention for fishing lures on the line, on the cable. Uh, a lot of times fishermen cast and I get caught up on there and it, it winds around and breaks off so there'll be like a treble hook or something out there and I would be very careful about running your car over that I would you know pull your car up to it slowly and remove the hazard don't don't run over it because it could you never know where those hooks are going to go There's a variety of fall protection equipment on the market. The styles that we're using here at USGS is called a lad safe system. It basically involves a vertical cable that goes up the center of a ladder or bolt steps to which you attach your full body harness uh, using uh, this piece of equipment right here. This is the cable slide device. And the way that this works is you open up the jaws and it allows the cable slide to attach to the cable and now is able to freely operate up and down the cable. If you should fall, the cable slide locks onto the cable and prevents your fall. Okay, the way to put on a full body harness is to grab it by the dorsal D-ring. Give it a quick shake. This will allow you to identify the shoulder straps and the other components. Once you figure out where the shoulder straps are, you can put the harness on, attach your center buckle, then reach through and attach your leg straps. This harness is equipped with quick connect connectors here, which are nice and handy. Your harness should be snug, but not too tight. You should be able to move freely without being bound by the harness. Once you have your harness on, you can come over and connect to the cable slide system using a locking carabiner and now you're ready to climb. Okay, now let's look at how to safely climb an A-frame. Now I'm ready to climb. When you start to climb, make sure it's very important maintain three points of contact at all times. So I'm going to be moving one hand and then a foot one at a time. A hand and then a foot. You don't have to be in a hurry. you got plenty of time. Make sure you got a good solid grip 
with both your hands and your feet before you move to the next position. Once you get close to the platform, you have to watch your head. Make sure that you don't impact anything. Once you're on the platform, you can step to the side and detach from the cable slide. To come back down, just do everything in reverse. And then just reverse your movements on the way down. And then one thing at a time. As long as you go nice and smooth, cable slide will freely follow the cable down and you don't have to touch it. There. That's all there is to it. Once you've climbed to the top of the platform, it's time to look at the cable car. Now we'll move on to the safety portion of the uh, cable car um, and the use of it. Again, look over the nuts and bolts on the cable car to make sure they're in uh, good condition. This is a new car from HIF, so it's actually in great condition. Uh, make sure that all the bolts are there and one thing to pay particular attention to is the bo bolt that goes through the brass shiv, the main shiv of the car and on these new uh, cable cars there's a uh, I believe it's called a lock tight or a lock nylock uh, bolt on the nut on there that keeps it tight on some of the older wooden cars it's just a bolt with a cotter pin in it This one is equipped with the uh, Sandpoint brake. Uh, they're quite nice and they just uh, tighten its tension against the cable through this mechanism. And it works uh, very well, but not while you're on the fly. Um, not while your car is moving, it doesn't work so well, but if you're trying to stay positioned in one spot, it works good. Um, we like to use the, uh, or I like to use a rope brake in case that you're pulling uh, back up to the A-frame. You can position this, loop it over the top of the cable, and then back down through here, and then any, uh, any progress you make pulling yourself up, you will, the brake will, the shiv will lean against the rope and it will hold you in position. Works very good. The other, other thing is about the cable way is to never, never uh, put your hands on the cable way. And I recommend not, not doing it at all, especially when you're getting into the car because you can, uh, if you were to grab the cable, you might move the car a little bit as you're getting in. It could come, uh, pop off the car hook and then you would be uh, the shiv would be going over your hand. Another thing to watch for is uh, when you're just pulling away from your A-frame and support is to uh, some of the cable cars are quite close to the uh, a-frame platform, so you don't want to have your feet underneath here. They could get caught. Make sure your feet are placed on these uh, the footrests in the cable car, because they could get caught under here. Because once you get away from the car hook, the, the car jumps down a little bit. I would not get out of the cable car from this end because the platform. Is, uh, doesn't extend all the way out to the cable car. So I would climb into the other seat closest to the A-frame and then exit from there. It would be 
much easier and well, much safer. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about cableway pre use inspection, how to safely operate cableways, and how to protect yourself while you're climbing on cableways.